Welcome everybody to the Friday Night Lights tonight. We've got a matchup between these two teams, between Yale University and Worcester Polytech Institute. This is the season opener for both sides. We're here in New Haven, Connecticut, and we are ready for the matchup to start these two sides off. My name is Darian Lovelace. I'm joined by Jeff Steele. And we will be talking you through tonight's matchup. Beautiful night though down here. As you see on your screen, we've got Yale University who will be in the blue and the white. WPI will be in the red. We'll see them in just a minute. The Bulldogs really shaking things up and ready to get down. The final clap right before the whistle starts. Yale University captained by the number seven, Grace Deeps, and the number 10, Gabby Mitrusi. A lot of Ivy academic All-Americans here. We will see on the left, we've got WPI, Worcester Polytech in the white, and Yale University on the right-hand side in their Typical blue and white. WPI now set for the kickoff and we are underway. Good take now by Yale University as they are now crossing over the 50 with a strong leg drive to start off this first half. They like to go ahead and move it to the hand. Hands to the right, using those forwards to take it straight into the heart of WPI. The Goats contesting at the ruck, but Yale University quick to get it off of the base. The number nine calling them off, and now the backs want to go ahead and take a stab at it. WPI doing a couple of arm grabs. We see a little bit of sideways run, but some speed coming in from the number 15, but she is tackled out of bounds by her counterpart. Looks like that was Sarah Durant who looked like she was going to stop a try. First line out of the game. Ball goes up in the air. There's no contest at the front, so it's taken cleanly. WPI elect to go ahead and work it through the backs. A little bit of sideways running. Ball ends up hitting the ground as now they're playing hot potato. Finds it, though, in the hands of the 13. The number 15 picks it up and decides to take it on herself. Big pressure defense, though, coming in from Yale. Puts her straight to ground. The Bulldogs aggressive in their defensive launch. There's a little bit of a disconnect. WPI try and find some space. A good contact, though, at the breakdown causes a turnover, and Yale is now attacking right outside of their 22. Yale now with the ball in hand, using those forwards, using a little bit of footwork. WPI, the GOATs. Offering some good defensive launch, but an arm tackle gives them a little bit of freedom and offload from the ground gets them a little bit of space. Got a little bit of footwork, some good speed. She cuts back inside the number 15 for Yale. Oh, 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 She's tossed to the ground. Continuing on, though, are the Bulldogs, but looks like the ball gets lost. Knock on by blue. Scrum to red. Knock on by Blue gives us our first scrum of the game. Ready? Taking a look back at this replay, we see here just the pressure coming in from WPI. Leads to a little bit of a mishap. But this is just the first scrum of the game. A little bit of nervousness. Crouch! But it'll definitely Bind. set the stage. Set. Yeah. 
Is linked for Karin, puts it in, and a boot goes up in the air by Lauren Brock in there. It goes over the back of Maine. She's got to gather quickly, but she's got some wheels and a little bit of footwork. Takes it right in to Nora Griffiths, who brings it to the ground. Right within the 40. Backwards, play on. Ball ends up getting a little bit of a tip-off pass, and the forwards are now taking it right onto the hinges of WPI's defense. Big leg drive coming in from Yale. They'll quick over the ball. WPI has only one defender. She goes ahead and dishes the defend. Yale cuts back in. They're at the 22. The Bulldog using those big forwards. A little bit of a hop, skip, and a jump right into the defense. WPI now use their backs, but a... Play on. Sideways play on. Ball goes down. Referee says to play on. But a big ball. contest happening at the rough gives the WPI down, down, some possession down, right outside of the 22. Kick forward by Red. Play on. Kicks forward. And now Gia will get the ball back. Using the fan, trying to offload. Ball goes right behind the wing. He tends to keep it. Throw it out by Blue. Line out to Red. But unfortunately, goes right on out of bounds. And now... WPI, the GOATs, will get yet Red, another you're in the channel, uh, to the right, we thank you. We take a look back at this replay. We see the turnover, trying to move it away from the pressure area, but losing the feed as she gets tossed to ground. The ball ends up going right behind Yale and stops the momentum. The GOATs win the ball cleanly. They go ahead and use that boot. Then Laura Brockenier again goes back behind the defense. A knock on by Blue. And right over here. For an unfortunate knock on. We see here, though, just beautiful field vision from the number 10 to go ahead and kick behind the defense. Puts her under a lot of pressure. Feeling the defense coming up by the Goats. Causes her to just lose sight of the ball for just a split second, and that's exactly what the Goats need to get down into this end. Crouch. Bind. Set. Bind. Looks good and stable. We are trying to drive a little bit, but WPI stays strong. Good pressure. However, they're not working it now through their backs. The number 15 it tries to run around the wing, but she offloads it to the number 11, Sophia Maloney. Using the offloads now, trying to keep the ball alive is WPI. A little bit of sideways running, but the offloads keeps it going. A big collision coming in from the Bulldogs. They like to go ahead and go left. They've lost about 20 meters worth of ground. The boot. Brooke she takes it in herself. And then we've got another kick coming in from the goats, they get it turned behind. Back in the 22, the number 15 for Yale looks to go ahead and take it off the top row. Gets it to a speedster who looks to go ahead and cut back in. Right in to the goats defense. Aggressive running from Yale. They continue to keep their legs alive. With a big hit coming in from the number eight, from the number six, Grace Mound. Not making much ground here as they offload, but a little bit of some space in the race here. The number 15, try saving tackle. Sarah Durant makes that hit. Yeah, having to reset their feet. Offside. Offside is Still the number 24. Kayla Keeley, which leads to a penalty, and Yale gets a little bit of a break. Yeah. We saw this beautiful line break come in from the Bulldogs, but the coming in from the side, how many on the outside of the ruck, leads to that penalty. Blue, how many? Yale looks like they elected how many the line for up? Five. a kick out of bounds. And they no now have possession red. of this line red, out no right one. at the 22. It's a line out. It's a line out to blue. Get this line set. This is ours. Instant penalty. Red, you got too many. They got the six. 
Thank you. Referee making sure that they match numbers in the line now. A little bit of a tit for tat, and now the goats are on the run out of the 22. Sideways running, but she goes ahead and finally straightens up. Nobody brings her to ground, so still got some room to burn, but loses the ball. A forward pass by blue, by red, and then a knock on by blue. So scrum to blue. Now Yale will get some possession right, we'll get the again, that right at the 22. Does a really good job of keeping her legs alive, but just loses sight of the ball. A lot of wayward loose footing for those off goals. Leads to the turnover, and now Yale Crouch. in prime attacking position. Find. Set. Ball is in. Number eight tries to dig it out, but so much pressure coming in from the goats. A knock on by blue, I'm trying to bring the ball out. We see a knock on because of that massive pressure coming in from the goats. Yeah, yeah. You see here the number eight trying to dig, but after that second push, as soon as she releases, there's not eight people on that scrum anymore. And the goats did a good job of maintaining some strong body height and leg drive. Crouch. About Ten minutes into this first Fine. half, score still stays zero to zero. Set. Reset. Reset. You can hear some people yep. from the yep. crowd yep. No worries, no worries. to hold the drive. They go ahead and give a re-scrum, but that can be taken as a warning. But the goat scrum that was being so strong against the Bulldogs. Crouch. And now WPI Bind. will be able to attack out. Still have a lot Set. of meters though left to go. And they go ahead and elect to move it to the right. Yeah. And she's hit with you to ground. They go ahead and move it now to the right. The number 10 dishes off from the end. Uses the fun yet again. She cuts back in, gets away from that sideline. That's the number 15, Sarah Durant. See some contest happening. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is some speed. The number 15, it will, does she have the gas to go ahead and get the first try on the board? It looks like she will. Number 15 will only get the first try of this match. That will bring our score 5 to 0. What a beautiful turnover. Red, red behind the post, please. Out. Beautiful heads up play, but that speed by Willow Mains. Yeah. That was such a beautiful individual effort, but what aggression coming in from the Bulldogs, the home team, to get that turnover. Now we've got a conversion to come. You getting tea? Looks like we'll have Ivy Pete go for points off of the tee. We love to see a hooker who loves to kick. Having to go back though and get her own tee. Ugh. Gotta say, if there's one rugby ick that I have, it's whenever kickers have to go get their own tee and have to get their own ball out of the try zone. They have to work so hard already. Time running out, so she has to hurriedly do this. Does it go over the post? And it does. IVP, good solo effort for her, and that will bring our score now seven to zero. The home team, Yale, beating over the Goats. Let's take a look one more time, though, from Willow Means. She is so ball hungry throughout this first ten minutes of this half. And she's got more than enough speed and more than enough hype, it looks like, to get her team over for the first try of this game. The goats here on the left, they will pick off to Yale. Ball is up. Go ahead and decide 
to give a run up. Offloads now coming in early. They try and work it wide. It looks they have like a knock on by blue. Just come to red. Been a little bit too rushed there. Trying to find a little bit of liveliness. But sometimes a one is just too much. We see here again the loose footing, not having the feet set off of the right offload. Here. It's going to lead to a turnover, especially with a WPI being quick to bring people to ground Seconds. after they make the contact. Hey, George, got that crouch tight. The crouch. WPI with a big, strong cadence Five. in that scrum. Set. Scrum is up. It's out. driving. Ball ends up flying through the number eight's hands. Back but on. Advantage blue. On. Knock advantage. After a knock on, get the ball back and now they're on the attack. Advantage over. Advantage is over. There's a little bit of a boom buff. They continue though to press on. Knock on. She loses the ball. Advantage red. And now Nora Griffiths gives back into the number 14, the number 24, excuse me. She's placed on her back though by Yale. Big pressure coming in. Coming back to the knock. Four. Knock on by blue, scrum to red. WPI. Back here we see the knock though coming in from yeah. Mains. Just again with the offloads, trying to keep the ball alive. Offloads don't mean much if they result in forward passes or knock-ons. So both teams are really going to have to sort out how they're going to manage this offload game if that's part of their game plan. Hookers, break foot has to go out when set is called. All right. Referee giving a little bit of instruction. Crouch! Bind! Set. Go, Western. 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 Go, we see here Yale already in a better body position than WPI. They just end up doing a good job of getting underneath him and driving straight. WPI under a lot of pressure. Crouch! Find! Set! Referee calls for the re scrum. It's still WPI's ball. The goats do a better job of holding that scrum, but the ball again shoots out of the back of the scrum, and now the backs are under pressure. Knock on! Knock advantage! And it will result in a turnover. Advantage over! promising in this area. A deep pass. Leads to them only gaining about a meter. Again, so using those a big forward to Yale. Getting a little bit hungry to throw the trial and she gets over the line. They're at the 22. Yeah. Pressing on is the home team of the Bulldogs. Using those forwards. Looks like they call for another forward pod. Going ahead and taking it in herself. She elects to go ahead and use the hands. Mains tries to get around, but she's tossed to the ground. Griffiths comes in for the counter ruck. Does not succeed enough to get the ball away. Good defensive line here coming from WPI, but a little bit slow launch. It's a pretty good kick. Right outside of the 22, not making very many meters. Defensive launch looking a lot more promising from the Goats. They're holding stubborn at this line. The backs now for Yale, trying to get it wide, trying to get it to their speed. There's the number 13 not, not tackle, but an ankle chop tackle finally gets her down. It's done by the number 15. Continuing though, they're now past the 22. They're about 10 meters out. We've got some space though. A gap opens up. Find a little bit of real estate there and they've got some room to burn. 
Maines, though, is out there calling for the ball. She's got to go in. A little bit of indecisiveness now coming in from Yale. Maines now has it. Cuts back in, gives it back into that fly half. Forward pass. Gabby Matrushi. Forward pass by it Blue. Looks like that was Scrum a to red. forward pass for Yale after so many phases down in this end. WPI get to breathe a little bit. Packard has just made a valiant defensive effort against Yale. They got right through the gate. The well, the, the issue is the, the rocks are very the wide, 10, the way they're forming. So it's kind of. I'll, I'll Trying to over. move the ball away from the pressure area is a smart idea, but it's this number 15, Stop Sarah it. Durant for WPI. She's Stop very it. defensive Stop of that try it. zone. Crouch! And after that defensive effort, Bind. Yale will be able to go ahead and scrum out of this end. The score is still 7-0, to zero, and we're about halfway through this first half. Brooke Agnier, she goes to the boot. Takes it right to Maines. Maines is doing a little bit of footwork, but here's that big tackle of course, Maines is in. Yell now on the attack. Using a little bit of an offload. They go ahead and continue to do that three point attack. They go to boot. She recognizes a little bit of space in the back. Durant's not there after making a big tackle. She's got to come across. And that just leaves massive space for Matrushi, the captain of this Yale side. That's good. Ivy Pete, she goes ahead and goes to the boot. And that will bring our score 14 to 0 after a successful conversion. Yale leading over WPI. See WPI taking a couple of sips and trying to regroup. After it's been all Yale this first half. The huddles are the most important part of yeah, the yeah, game. Yeah, both takes were good. It's your time to really discuss what's going to work and how to kind of get back into your mental game. But celebrations all around for Yale University after a try like this. Moving it away from the pressure area. They continue to keep the ball alive. This looks much better with their offload game as they're able to go ahead and work it five meters out. But it's this chase that comes from Matrushi. Sometimes the, the ball just gives you that lucky bounce. And then it's the speed to burn. And who wouldn't want to celebrate a try like that? Yeah. <laughs> Now set for the kickoff yet again, 14 to 0. Yale still leading. The go to the Kennedy, it's a lot deeper than the kickoff. And now it's a 40. Backwards. Nobody wanted that pass, so it ends up hitting the deck. Yale now have to fight a little bit harder. They lose about 10 meters of ground. Ball gets tucked, it gets off of it. WPI trying to contest at the rock. Ball runners look a little bit isolated. They put themselves in the pressure. by Blue. Scrum to Red. And Yale ends up knocking on the ball. And now WPI will go ahead and scrum down. But this strong carry, unfortunately, all that hard work for naught. We see here the arm tackles, the jersey grabs. Doesn't stand a chance against a leg drive like that. But it's so important that if your teammate does something spectacular, Crouch. you've got to buy into that mentality. Bind. Now it'll be a turnover. WPI. Set. They're on the far left-hand side, about 30 meters outside of their try zone. It's out. That looks much more stable, but again, it shoots out of the back, and the backs are under pressure. Heavily right at the 40. They're quick to get it away, though. The number 12, Larissa Navarro Gomes. 
She's almost off the stage to ground. They continue to use the hands. Durant, such a hard worker. She offloads back into the space. So if we've got a player down, no. They continue to fight on. Quick to ground is WPI after a massive defensive effort from Yale. Continuing on, though, is the Goats. So stubborn as they continue to now work it to the left. Taken straight down to the ground. We hear that the scrum half went into contact. Ball is lost, though, on the ground. Ye is swarming all over it. <laughs> but it doesn't really look like Blue anybody knew what Penalty happened red. there. And Yale called Time's in off. for coming in from the side. An injury. Time is off. Time is off. We have an injury on the field. They can't. They can't go quick. Time off. As we've got a player down for WPI. Take a look back at this defensive stance coming in from Yell. They put on the pressure so quickly, even starting from the scrum, and they cut off all options after a condensed attack from the Goats makes it very easy to make these tackles. Durant, the number 15, not enough can be said about her play. Such a major workhorse, but Yale just continuing to come up in the face. They're very quick and showing exceptional body height in the tackle. They just continue to come up and press on defense. You see there that it looks like that was the number 10, Lauren Braconnier. She's been a big kicker for this WPI side. But not a lot of options here. Poor ball placement after a big hit coming in, but we see here just the indecisiveness from both sides to go over the ball. Looks like Brock and Ye is up and walking around. Just a little bit of a knock, but she's tough. Ready to rock and roll. See here, high fives all around. Time, right here. Time is back on. Hey, ladies, got some skips, up. got some high fives. Blue in from the side. Game will continue on after a in the side penalty comes from Yale. On the way here. And the Goats give it back to the forward as she takes it right in. That's the number six, Grace Mond. Offloads in in contact, looking for some options. Trying to play in a game of hot potato there. Yeah. Yep, and of course it would be an obstruction. Mark is right here. Yale, looking like they wanted it to quick tap. They decide to slow the game down a bit. Very deep setup for Yale. Looks like will go to the right. Move the forward side over there. We go ahead and use the point of that pod using that footwork. The Bulldogs press on. We hear there a little bit of disconnect and support, but they're quick over the ball. All on sides. To get that ball back, and now Yale will be on the attack. Off sides, ready or off sides? Looks like referee calling for them to take a little bit of a step. Some arm tackles that lead to some space for Yale. Backwards. You try and offload. Now with the 22, using that big leg drive. Red out. Red release. See Maggie Johnson holding on. You have to release in the tackle. Penalty is low. You're assisted in the tackle. You have to let go and then go for the, for the steal. The lack of discipline coming in from the goats leads to Yale being able to attack down in the 22. They've looked pretty promising when they get down in this end. Contesting at the breakdown is WPI, but Yale moves it to the left-hand side, oh, trying to use those hands. Their leg drive is so strong. Almost finds the 
Yeah, but knock on by blue. Just come to red. But it leads to an unfortunate knock on coming in from the tries for Matrushi. And WPI will now get a scrum, but they've got a long way to go. Yale, though, Matrushi is so good with that boot. But here's what we're talking about. Mainz comes in from far right field, slides down, snatches the ball from Durant. You haven't Crouch. seen that happen very often. Bind! And then Yale, they're just so quick to move that ball away. Red, I want that bind over the top more. It's reaching down. I don't want you pulling down. I want it to be strong. Seconds! Seconds. Offering a little bit of a criticism there. Crouch! Crouch! Bind! Set! Ball is played at the scrum, but Yale, the Bulldogs, continuing to drive on. A lot of pressure happening at the back. And Bukanye is now under a lot of pressure. That ball does not go very far, only about 10 meters, and now Yale will be on the attack. Petrucci almost loses that ball over the top of her head. She offloads back on the inside to the number nine with Lauren Delwich. She offloads as well. This offload game is so strong for Yale. Looks like they've got a little bit of an overload if they can use it. They go ahead and move it to the left. The number 11 cuts back in. She dishes a fend. They're about five meters outside of the try zone. There's a contest still happening at the breakdown. Yale able to go ahead and retain possession. That's blue ball. Mains. Can she get around? Mains gets it down right in the corner for her second try of the match. Knock on by blue. Yeah, I fell out of your hands before you dotted it. The referee saw it a little bit different than what we did. But knock on by blue. Scrum to red. see the frustration coming in from that Mains. Just unfortunate. Brooke and she's under so much pressure after that big scrum from Yale. We see here Hansel do it for Yale. The Bulldogs, they go ahead and they move it all the way to the left in Mains. Don't use their inside, folks. Trying to see that little bit of a knock Crouch. on. It looks like she lost it as she was playing. Bind! Somewhere. The rock and roll slide, sometimes it works. Set. Not in rugby. So unfortunately, it will be a scrum at TWPI. with about 95 meters, though, to attack out. Durant, she dishes a little bit of a boot of her own. Mains, though, in open space. Let's see if she goes ahead and uses her speed to the right. She does. Doesn't make it for a big hit. Aisling Corcoran brings her right to ground. Yale, though, within the 22. Using some big fence. That's the number four. She uses the leg drive. Trying to get down into the tri zone, but she steps out of bounds. Looks like referee says to play on. Unfortunate call for WPI after a strong defensive effort. They go ahead and they get the ball back, though. Trying to throw it away. We have a knock on by Red. Lauren Brockenier. Yeah. Yeah. This is ours. This is ours. Yeah. So here we see Mains. Extremely frustrated it's after she ends up knocking it on the tri zone. She cuts right back inside. So shifty, so speedy. She's brought down. And then the number four. Seconds. Lil Joseph. She goes ahead and continues to run around. But right here is the real question. As she steps on the line, you see the touch judge go up. Crouch! Uh, she says to continue to play on. Bind! Turnover ball, though, Set. a lot of pressure from Yale leads to their scrum, though. At the foul meters. But number eight, she picks it up. Has to take it right into Brock and Yang. Red out! Red, get out! Now they're about a meter outside. That's clean, that's clean, that's red ball. Now, WPI, they go ahead and kick it straight to the boot. Means she catches it. She's got a whole lot of room to burn. Comes around, she offers it to a wing. She cuts back inside, right to the defense, but a looping play. Needs a little bit more space for them. And it looks like Yale, Yale will get another try. This ball will find its way to the ground. And the Bulldogs score yet again, bringing our score 19 to zero. Pressure down here. They go ahead and they kick it straight to Mains. It's still in. It's not who you want to do that to. She's a main ball carrier. 
She just has an off one zip, though. The cutback and second one is yours. a little bit debatable, if, but the looping play coming in. Because if they have the rock formed, they're allowed to reach in to have that back. The bulldogs, the, the hard that, work like the done, done by it. them. So, so ball hungry, the ball, so ready to get into that try it. zone. Okay, so we have the ball. Our score now 19-0 in IVP. Yeah, exactly. The number two will kick for points. Yeah, in line. Looks like the number 10, Lauren, Lauren Brockenier, coming over to talk to the referee. Trying to get a little bit of clarification. We've got about 10 minutes left in this first half. Maybe Pete does a little dance, does a little prance, and she gets that conversion 21 to 0. The Bulldogs are leading over the Goats. Eight minutes. Eight minutes. About eight minutes left to go after we take a look at this try. Again, WPI under so much pressure here. Mains goes ahead and takes it in herself. Still trying to make out who the try score is after she leaves around. It looks like that was the number 11. So a good connect between the wingers, Alice Olcott. She gets over for that try. And WPI is really going to need to answer back aggressively before we enter into the 10 minutes. Backwards, play on! Unusual for Yale as they end up bobbling that ball. Puts them under a lot of pressure, back behind their 22. WPI again the tackle. Finally brought to ground, and there's a contest at the rock. Blue not releasing, penalty to red. Not releasing. After a fair contest there. It's a WPI. They go ahead and quick tap Durant. Trying to do a little bit of run around for herself. She dishes the fend. Continuing now to offload. WPI trying to find some real estate here. She's getting tossed around. Losing the ball to ground. Very condensed around this area. And looking very flat is WPI. The number six though. She finds a little bit of space around the breakdown. Trying to do the same as Brooke and Yeh, but the 23 for WPI is taken straight by to Ryan. ground Just after a blue. massive hit coming in. It looked like that was from Ivy Pete. She does it all. You see here, Ivy Pete, she comes in. That was Ivy Pete. Yes, it was. Ivy Pete, she does such a good job of getting low. Not only can she kick, but she also knows how to hit. We hear some coaches from the sidelines saying that Yale is doing a Crouch. good job of going forward in their tackle. Yeah, that's fine. WPI is really going to have to stand strong yeah. in All the good. contact. And Yale looks very promising, and they're gaining more and more confidence throughout this game in their tackle. Crouch! Bind! Set! Red offsides. Caught in the middle of the scrum. Red call for offsides after ball never left the scrum. Red, the ball was in the scrum. You were offsides. Referee agrees with the commentator. We'll go ahead and go straight to the boot. Yale will get some distance on this one. And we'll have a line out. There'll be a blue ball. Only about five minutes left to go in the Mark is on me. Half. Red, you're in the channel. Red, step out, please. You're in the channel. Hey, just line up to blue. You, you guys can come closer. You don't have to be that far. Trying to get a little bit of blue stay. there. Red, you can come closer. Where the line out is happening. You're good. Uh, guys, channel is right here the on the hooker the where the touch judge is. You can bring it a little closer. Right, you can take half a step in. The there we go. Looks like WPI was up Backwards. a little bit early, but Yale loses that. Uh, knock on by Red. Connection. WPI had possession. 
but we see they're just flying through, so ball hungry, so ready to get that ball back. And WPI just do not seem to have very many answers against the Bulldogs. Crouch. Strong cadence coming in from WPI, the GOATs. Can they Set. hold strong and keep Yale out of the try zone? It's caught again in the middle. They go ahead and move it to the left zone. Matrishi is met by the number nine. Took it around. She also is on the inside. They go ahead and use Penalty the advantage. Red right. three. Offsides. Looks like the number three, though, Gray Ron, is offside, leading to an advantage for Yale. Not what WPI wanted to do. Moving out to the left is Matrushi. She goes to the boot. A little bit of a slow chase coming in for We're going to bring it back, the offside, the red three. Penalty to blue. You see here, Ron. Brad, you have to be behind that back foot, okay? Not in line. Told that she was offside. The free had a better eye than we did. It's to Gray Ron getting a penalty for WPI. And now he will be on the attack. You got to toe the ball. Toe the ball to start play again. So we haven't started play. Let's bring it back here. You have to tap the ball with your foot either by kicking it. Yes, exactly. Yep. Lauren Delwich. It's important to tap the ball to signify the play starts after a penalty. And now they get to go through those phases again like deja vu. Red, no. Four, five has to roll out. There you go. A little bit of a slow roll coming in from WPI. They move it to the left. The Bulldogs, though, still holding so strong. Red, no. Contact. Takes about two or three attempts. Tackler has to roll out first. Down. Moving in now through the hand. Able to get that ball out, named. Boy, that footwork is just too good. They cut back inside. The offense looks good. The number 11 looking very strong. Alice Wolf caught. It's Red Ball. That's Red. Red ends up taking away possession right outside, and they go ahead and go straight. Backwards, through. play on. There's a back on the defense of Yale, but means she gets that ball and she's still looking for more. She's got some speed and they try and go for it. It's a 1v1. Durant, though, brings her to ground. Means a stop right within the 22. Doing such a good job with this footwork is Yale. The BPI, though, is going to have to keep them out of the try zone as we enter into the last 30 seconds of this first half. Strong defensive effort from the Trushi. They've got room to burn if they can get it out there. Ball looks like it might Got to knock on by blue. On. It's come to red. Considered so. <laughs> and a massive defensive effort red. for WPI. This is the last play. Main. She cuts back in. The offload, though, behind the back of the defense. It's a little bit of space for Olcott. She attacks well, very yeah, well. Yeah, sure. It's red scrum. Knock on by blue. It's come to red. Just a big turnover for WPI at the rock. Means she tries to go ahead and attack herself. She's got so much speed. Crouch. Tries to get around. Bind. But makes this a big hit. She's so protective of that try zone, which Set. is in the right space. Now WPI will attack out. This will probably be the last play of the first half. Brooke decides to go ahead and step out his first receiver. That's the number 11, Sophia Maroney. WPI with no answers against the home team, the Bulldogs. Lauren. We'll see you back here in about 10 minutes for the second half of this collegiate matchup.
and let's get ready to rock and roll for the second half. It's been all Yale, thanks to player like the number 15, Mains, who has been one of the main culprits for the 21 to zero lead that they've got over WPI, the Worcester Polytech Institute, the GOATs, only at zero. Early push. A little bit of a conversation though, it looks like the number 19, Jenna Young, trying to advocate a little bit for the scrum. Okay, I'll look for that. Thank you, appreciate you. No worries. So just communicating a little bit of something for a referee to keep an eye out. It looked like both teams lacked a little bit of discipline there in the breakdown. Yale, we'll see here in the blue and white. Right. Red captain, ready! Blue captain, ready! All right, we see the jerseys white and red. That's the GOAT from Worcester, Massachusetts. Yale goes set for the kickoff and a big chase coming in from none other than Mains. That's a little by red. bit shaky there. It looks like that was the number 11, by red, Sophia Mulroney. And at Yale, we'll go ahead and attack right at the 22, straight off of the kickoff. Blue, watch the early push, Yale, please, all right? So it shouldn't be until friends. the ball's rolled right in. Right the jump, we see Mulroney get a little bit stuck, flat-footed. Like she didn't anticipate for the ball to come to her. Now Gail will go ahead and Crouch! Find! ...of the second half. Set! Gail, body tight, looking a little bit high, but... ...they're able to go ahead and work the ball to the back. Make sure she's going to give it to me. Attack inside. Forward! Right, to get it off the Durant with the long arm. Advantage so over! Right advantage over! Red six playing the man off the ball. And at the number six. Penalty, penalty to blue. Red, you hit her off the ball. The player without the ball. Yell quick. Have a knock on by blue. A little bit too quick for their own good. Knock on by blue. Scrum to red right here. You see here, they're trying to react quickly. That's the number nine. So scrappy. Lauren Delwich. But. Big problem here is that it looked like WPI was already set back on the defense. To, to only work if there's some space and there just didn't look like there was much for her. Crouch! Find! Set! Other than now, it's stable. Big blue foul. Looks like it ends up looking at target and it goes straight to ground. And Yale now on the top. We cut back inside. Of a forward like pass here by Blue. A forward pass. She's in front of you when you're giving her the ball. Forward pass by Blue. Scrum to red. And then WPI will go ahead. Time is off. Time is off. Can I get trainer? A player down. Looks like that's the number 16, Callie Kruger. Take a look at this replay, though. WPI just had a beautiful turnover. They've got a lot of room, though, to burn. It's a stable scrum, but we see here, Brooke she just misses the target. Ball gets a little bit too low. And is just so space. quick over it, but they Thanks. run right back into the pressure area. Looks like Callie Kruger tried to get that ball over and might have knocked the wind out of herself there. Looks like she's up and walking, though. The scrum. Good forward pass. No. Y'all though looks uh, like no. talking it was a little bit of shock. She's got a beautiful turnover though. And then she cuts back inside. Durant reads it like a book. She just snags that ball just right out of thin air using those long good? limbs. Are we making a sub? Yeah. That's okay. The problem was that it was at the run in sideways. Looks like they almost corralled her. 
And Yale puts them under pressure yet again at WPI, just not able to get out of the time. That's the number 23, probably coming on for Kruger. Unfortunately for Gale, he did not see a 23, so we're all very excited for Time you. is back on. Ground to make up in the second half. Ball goes in. Stable scrum looks good. Taking a little bit too much time back there. Now they're under immense pressure. Brooklyn Yates gets a good clean kick. Means is in front of the ball. Two bounces, and it leads to a knock on. Knock on by Blue. Scrum to red. About 15 meters out of the pressure area for WPI. Not doing themselves any favors at the back of the scrum. Brooklyn Yates under a lot of pressure. But Maine, she gets about a bogo on the bounces. That third one, though, you can see the frustration there. She's so competitive. And unfortunate for Yale, but fortunate for WPI is they need a lot of possession. 21 to zero, the home team that's still leading. Crouch! Bind! Set! Gets a little bit caught in the middle. The number nine has to dig for WPI, but she's able to get it out. Hands now, though. It's caught at the inside center. Forward pass by Red. It's come to blue. Did not look like she wanted to go to ground. Tries to dish it off to the outside center, and that leads to a forward pass. See here, the number nine gets it out to the 10, Brooke and Ye. A little bit of indecisiveness there. It leads to a forward pass coming in from, it looks like that was the number 16 for WPI. Caitlin Lenny. Seconds. Seconds in. Feet four steps in. Crouch. Yale. Tight. Crouch. And have possession of the scrum. Bind. Two meters out from their try zone. <laughs> Somebody not happy with the pressure coming in. So they'll go ahead and call it back up and reset on the scrum. Crouch! Bind! Set! Gil. A little bit caught high there. Under a lot of pressure at the scrum. Does a beautiful pass to a very straight line coming in. Straining line right in between the centers. Splits them with a cut. Just dots it over. And one of the best things about this is she can't lose the ball because she's got two hands on it. You see the celebration all around for Yale as they continue to press on in their lead. The home team looks like the energy is just growing for them. And Ivy Pete will go ahead and have some more kicking practice off the team. That's good. She goes up, straight up. She's four for four off of that team. Which should bring our score 28 to zero. The Bulldogs leading over the Goats. Jogging back, you see Matrushi put her hand up there after giving a beautiful pass to 13, Sarah Scolier. I think she scored that looping try with Mains earlier. I might have given that to Alice Olcott, but that's okay. Just a very nice straight running. This works very well against the drift defense. That seems to be what WPI has been running throughout this whole game. And those straightening runs, especially as fatigue starts to set in, are really going to open up a lot of space. About seven minutes gone in the second half. And though the Goats are trying to hang the Bulldogs are just offering up a little bit more aggression. 
Ball goes up, it bounces a couple of times. Chase is a little bit slow. And the Bulldogs, after a couple of jersey tackles, they're met by a massive wall. A bit of a disconnected launch, some jersey tackles. Gail, the number four, she uses so much of that length. Gets the offload off. Looks like backs might be calling for it, but the forwards are so hungry. High tackle, oh, advantage blue. A little bit of a high Red tackle, high tackle. from it. WPI leads to a advantage. Matrushi gives it to the hands. Mains cuts back inside yet again. Cuts one more. Tries to get the ball off to Old Pot. He's almost tackled out of bounds. a high tackle, penalty to blue. Bring the ball back for a high tackle advantage. Take a gander here. Valkyrie goes ahead and tries to take it straight in, Pete, but we see that arm just come up a little bit high. That was Haley Slanley. Slaney. And with the advantage, Yale tries to attack out. They gain a lot more meters, they about 20 meters worth. And they'll go ahead and they'll get a line out on the 40. Trying to use the hand zone, getting it from the pressure area. Mays Mark is, is on the so flag. Strong off of that right Red, head. Mark is on the tries flag. Tries to find Old Cot. That connection has been lethal throughout this entire first half and the beginning of the second half. It's just a little bit too much sauce. Contest though happens at the front of the line out. Continuing to drive her legs out is the number one, Emily Roman. Lost. Tries to run around herself. Takes it in against the try score. There's a lot of space there for Brooke Anye. Cuts back inside. Continuing to pump her legs. This is determination coming in from the goats. Trying to keep the ball alive. They're finally taken to ground. The number 16, it takes it in herself. Trying to find an offload. Unsuccessful though. Now ball is getting slowed down by Yale. A massive hit the Bulldogs, absolutely bullying these goats. Saying though, dominant in this possession is the goats, trying to find some more gaps. She slivers on through. The number nine though, Aisling Corcoran, gives it to the number 11. Such a low hit coming in from the number five, Amanda Wallace. Contest though happening at the breakdown. A lack of support though coming in from the goats. It's leading to a lot more pressure. The number eight, she just had a beautiful line break. That's Nora Griffiths. You see again, the Bulldogs trying to bully their way over against the goats, but they're maintaining very good possession. And as I say that, they're still in possession of it, but it was a little bit of a wayward pass. Number 23, she cuts back inside. That's Maggie Johnson. Continuing to keep the ball alive. If this is over that. Just attacking within this 15 meter space. Backwards by Blue. Looks like it gets it was brought thrown backwards by Blue, backwards but then we had a knockout by Blue. So, come to Red. And that attack just sub. continuing to stay in Red, that sub. 15 meter channel is at WPI, the GOATs. Sub, sub for Blue, yeah. Just are not finding the space. There's a lot of it to burn. We saw a wonderful line break coming in from the number eight, Nora Griffiths. They found a lot of space out wide. We're seeing some substitutions come on for Yale after such a massive lead. Right, Mark's right this here. probably the best Mark on me. Of Mark on me. But Griffiths, this was the big runaround that they needed, but then she needed to move it away. Brooke Ye cuts back inside, tucks the ball instantly. Very easy for the defense to read. And again, they'll just continue to Crouch. attack in the same space, not finding a lot Find. of real estate. They're able to breathe a little bit here as Set. WPI gets probably the best attacking Blue, position that they've had in the first half and an early drive coming in from you. Yeah, I'm giving you the call. Short arm penalty. 
It's a free kick to red. We have an early push by blue. So they so it's not should a penalty. You quick can't tap kick here. Out for your own lineup. Yeah. yeah. And they do. The number nine, Aisling Corcoran, nine. wants to give it to the number eight, to Griffiths. Blue. Even though she was the primary ball carrier, took her eyes off of the ball for a second. And that, that will give it Yale back the ball. The number six, excuse me, tries to cut back behind Aisley Corcoran. That was Grace Mond who knocks it on. And it's unfortunate because this was the best attacking position that WPI has really had for the Crouch. whole second half. Bind! Set! Scrum is underway. We all now have the ability to tack out. Backwards. Sushi ends up with the ball behind her, but she's able to get a kickoff cleanly. The number 15, Durant, she gives a little bit of footwork, and the number 13 brings it around. She rolls, though, gets back up on her feet and continues to fight on. Gives it around. This is some good speed. High tackle, blue. Might have been Penalty to red. I referee also agrees. So WPI now will go ahead and tap. Almost loses the ball, though, but she keeps it. That's the number 16. Trying to find Brookenye. She does. Brookenye is brought to ground. That's out. Griffiths takes it right into the Bulldogs. Under a lot of pressure. They're all within the 50 meters, but this looks a little bit more promising as they're going to go ahead and keep it tight. Blue release! Continuing now to keep it tight. Almost goes over the head. Durant, though. He's been everywhere. We see a big looping play, though, coming in from Haley Stanley. She gives it back into Mularoni. Offsides, Blue. Penalty. Advantage red. Offsides red. coming Advantage in red. from Blue. They hear the offsides call. They back off. They're almost there. Can WPI get their first try? Griffiths, though, she looks high. Looks like she got over. That'll be the first try for WPI. And you can just hear the size of relief. We saw here, it started off Blue, with a kick. Behind the post, the number please. Number 10, Matrushi Durant who's been massive at this game, and it's because of work like this on the ground. She keeps her legs going, gets a beautiful offload. The high tackle comes in. That leads to an infraction for Yale. You can and this high tackle want. just really oh, led yeah, to yeah, the yeah, momentum you're, you're change. Yeah. They decide to go ahead and stay tight, but the thing is, is that they're working a lot better together. We see Yale back off after getting called offsides really forces Yale to have to be behind the defense. And then the number eight, Nora Griffith. Probably the second biggest ball carrier between Duran and Good Griffith. Kick. And it's very well deserved for her to go ahead and get that try for her team. Scores at 28-2-5. Kick still set to come. And it looks like that will be none other than Lauren Broconnier. Let's go, Blue. Let's go now. We got it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. And a massive shout out, though, okay. coming in from the crowd. Hey, the post. And finally, under the lights, Friday night lights to be exact. Score is still 28 to 5. A kickoff is now underway, and Maines is all over that ball. Going ahead and giving it right back. This is some long legs coming in. The number six, Grace Mond, cutting back inside. She tiptoes on the sideline. This is a lot more promising coming in from WPI. They seem to find a second win. Gray Ron takes it into contact. They're now way Offside past the blue, advantage red, six, you're offside. Offside yet again for Yale. The number eight, Griffiths, that was our try scorer. The only try to WPI's name comes from this player. Looks like she almost gets bottled out into touch, yeah. but. Advantage over, feeding. advantage over red. Advantage is gained after making about 20 meters worth of real estate. 
Trying now to work the ball back. The number three goes ahead Offsides and picks it up again. off of the ground. Two, you're Offsides, offsides yet again for Yale. Yep. His lack of discipline does not look very promising Brad, for you're playing advantage. Team. Number 16, she goes ahead and moves it to the number 13. Met heavily, though. She's no isolated. No advantage, Red. Offsides, blue. That up. Yale costing about 30 Two meters blue. now in penalties. WPI now on the attack, and Durant, she's going to go ahead and go herself. She gets taken down. Looks like hands are on the ground. On your, That's not going to fly. Advantage. Yeah, penalty, Red. WPI yet again. Crawling through, blue. Oh, hold up. Get a penalty. Blue captain. Superfree's gonna go ahead and stop time is and off. talk some shop. So yeah, we have consecutive defensive penalties in your end of the field in defense. If I see one more, it's gonna be a yellow card. Okay. Yeah, they're gonna go ahead and talk about that. Looks like that's the number Turns seven, Grace Deeds, talking to her team. Saying, hey guys, we need to kind of chill out on the penalties. Next one's going to be a card. Now they're back underway. Ball hungry, Grace Mon takes it right into Yale. Continuing on is Gray Ron as she offloads back to Corcoran. Trying to use a little bit of a snaky move. Doesn't gain a whole lot of yards though. They're under a lot of pressure back here. Yale really coming up on defense, but they get some good leg drive in Johnson. Number seven, she ends up getting tossed to ground at Yale, still coming up in the face. Choosing to it yet again, attack within this tiny space. Griffith, so she's a strong ball carrier, gives it to the number six, tries to cut back inside Durant. She's under massive amounts of pressure, but she still holds strong, trying to stay up, trying to take her out into touch. Not successful though is Yale. Going ahead and doing the pick and go. They're trying to find an offload. And it's a knock on. Very unfortunate for WPI. Trying we'll to go. contest that was a clean, though at the breakdown. Off. Looks we'll like the contest the knock -on is fair. So Scrum referee's going to go ahead and blow it up because of a lack of gain in the advantage. Yeah, yeah, sub. Like we'll have some substitutions. Looks like Durant might have come off. This is pretty unfortunate for WPI. Got about 20 minutes left, but WPI really tasting a little bit of the second wind because of massive playmakers like the number six. This is Grace Mond. The whole back row for WPI. Really trying to find their way over the try zone. We're still at 27 to 5. Crouch. The home team at Yale leading. Find! 28 to 5, excuse me. Set! Come on! Come on. Set. Big pressure coming in at the back. Matrushi. Offside, blue, no! Looks like blue is called blue, offside. You're offsides. It Referee no. shouted for that to be chill. Healthy right here. It looks like right. we're going to go ahead and try and figure out what's going on. Grace Mon takes it in herself. She's trying to find that try zone. She's almost there, and she gets the try. WPI finally get the answer that they've been looking for. And that'll bring our score 10 to 28. Very strong effort from Mond. Here we see Matrushi, she goes up and she gives a kick and it looks like the number 11 was called offsides. She heard a little bit of confusion though after the penalty was no, called. It yells, gotta get back about 10 meters. They're slow to get back, nice Mon try. recognizes it. She recognizes her power, she taps and just decides to go ahead and take it right into the guts of the Bulldogs. She's got some determination, she's got some grit and there's congratulations all around. And look at that, she gives the ball back to her kicker. Pretty hard angle for the conversion on the left-hand side. Oh, Perfigne, she goes up. It's close. Kick is short. No conversion. Still leaving our score 28 to 10. But the second half.
side for WPI looks a lot more resilient, a lot more fast, a lot more aggressive, and a lot more ball hungry. And it's because of players like Mon, the ownership to go ahead and get the team on her back, on her shoulders. She says, don't worry y'all, I'll take this one. And that'll continue to go ahead and get them on the scoreboard. Still need a lot more points in order to try and contend with Yale in the second half. Looks like we'll probably have less than 20 minutes. Kick is up. Off of the kickoff. Ball ends up getting bounced. Yale is right in the face of that ball and they end up fielding it cleanly. Trying to offload now into the contact. They've got some space to the left if they can move it. They do. That's a try scorer. That's Golier. She's over. Can she make it in for a try? She does. That's her third of the match. What a hat trick. Big attacking effort from Scholar. And we saw Yale just putting on an absolute menacing amount of pressure. We see here though, they move it away from the pressure area. That's one pass, two passes. We see a third one. Only one more defender left to beat. They're so condensed WPI. And then this is just a very good defensive effort. Trying to come across, but the fend gets her that little bit of separation. And we've seen speed like this from this athlete throughout the whole entire match. So a hat trick to her name. Scholar gets it. And Pete will go ahead and kick off of the tee. Very unfortunate though for WPI. The GOATs trying to get back on the scoreboard. It seems like Yale did not want them to have a taste for that at all. Pete, though, unfortunately having to go back and get her tee. Looks like kick was no good. And so now WPI will kick off. Brings our score now 33 to 10. The home team, the Bulldogs, that leading over the Goats. Yale able to field this one cleanly. Using that footwork though, they're up and over the 40. Moving it now to the left hand side, Matrushi throws an absolute over the top back pass. Trying to move it though to the width. They're successful there, but there's a little bit of isolation. The Goats trying to bully their way over. Bully dogs, <laughs> dogs not allowing that to happen in their house. We see the captain, that deep, using that leg drive, using that fend, it gets a little bit of a taste of her own. Looks the ball well. See a little bit of confusion though, as Matrushi calls off the forwards and decides to go ahead and go to the boot. Kicks over the top. Burkenye though, he gets the ball, cuts back inside, gets away from that sideline. Throws the ball though to deck. That does not set her team up for success. Ball is all over the ground. So we have a kick by Blue, and then Blue playing it from over an offside position. Penalty to Red. Oh. The player was in an offside position for Yale after the kick. And so that leads to WPI getting to attack out. Looks like that's the number six Mon. Big collision though. She stays upright. Hands go to ground. I'm sure she tries to get over that. She's unsuccessful. That back row combo between Mon and Griffiths is there. Cut back inside though from Brooke Onye. She gives it back. The ball is not very well protected at all. Oh, that's a red ball, that's a red ball. WPI have it. Yale is hitting. Yale is really hitting after a couple of big hits coming in from them. WPI scrambling to find an answer. No, hands out, Blue, thank you. Standing strong, though, is the number three, Gray Ron. Release, blue release! 
She's finally wrestled to ground. Balls out, balls out. Matrie comes in to try and get it away. So flat-footed. They're caught easily, though. Matrushi getting impatient. The number 17 finally gets them some go forward. That's Ken Julian. Good protection over the ball, but a lack works. of support leads to the ball hitting the deck. They're trying to move it now to the hands. It's so condensed, though. The net by Blue you. Hands out. Deeds trying to get that turnover, unsuccessful. Backwards. Buffaloed into contact. Instruction. Instruction call. 11 red. Right. There were six players all in the space. Just looked like a little bit of uh, confusion there. And that will lead to Yale. Looking like they will find some confidence in their kicker, Matrushi. Ball does not find touch. But Yale ends up fielding it. Ball goes backwards. And now the forwards will go ahead and handle this one. Slow roll coming in from WPI. Finds her way out as Deets. Deets continuing to press on. Right out, strong thank ball you. carrier when she gets at the line. Moving it now is Matrushi. Strong low game of Hot Potato herself. Scroller gets hit low from WPI. Making sure that the number 11 has to clean up the mess. She does. The WPI trying to get in on that rock scholar. Gets around in Maine. Maine cuts back in. Maine cuts wide. Maine cuts to the left. Maine finally goes down. Moving it now to the left hand side. Forward set up in their pod formation. Protecting the ball well after some contest coming in from WPI. So there's some indecisiveness from the defense. So pretty slow to fold. They can move it out wide. Yale's got the numbers. Patricia's calling for it. So she moves it to Maine. Not release, Red! It's not. Looks like it's very successful there for them. Getting caught a little bit flat footed is Yale. Pete takes it on herself. Finds a little bit of go forward around the hinges of the defense. Off was in the contact to the number 19. It's Paula Taranzo. Moving it now to the left hand side. A lot of switching back and forth, giving themselves a lot of options. We offload again. Yale trying to find the try zone. Blue, both feet are in front of the ball. You're playing from an offside position. Penalty to red. Blue offside. Looks like there was a penalty coming in after they played in from an offsides position. A referee says. And that will be a WPI ball. They go ahead and use the boot of Brocogne. Brocogne does not Off find touch though. Mains uses her boot as well to field that. Backwards. Although just gets tossed around. Big hit coming in from WPI. Textbook tackle, of course, from a back rower. That's Kaylee Slaney. But just attacking those tree limbs is the Bulldogs. They cut back in on the hinge right in the space. Brooke tries to get over the ball, Brad, unsuccessful. Deep cuts back inside. An arm tackle forces her to ground. Matrushi takes it, moves it to her inside center, finds knock her outside advantage. center, advantage who red. ran away from the pass, leading to a knock on, and now WPI. Playing advantage still for the knock, Red. Will now get an opportunity to attack. Finding themselves in the center of the field, they look to go left. Looks like that's the number six yet again, Mon. We're gonna go back to the knock isolated. on. No advantage gained. Knock on by Blue, no scrum to red. It was gained in that series of play, so WPI yeah. will get scrum to red. the scrum. Yeah, Blue sub. Great. 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 Great.
see some happy slaps all around. Looks like we've got another substitution as well for WPI. Flanker yeah. coming off. That was the stand De Silva. Will come on as a replacement. At about less than Crouch. 10 minutes Fine. in the second half. Scrum gets driven backwards by Yale. It's a, free kick a little right. bit too much loss on that for the Bulldogs yeah, and a little bit too much for the referee's liking. And so now WPI will go ahead and attack himself. We've got Steve coming in. <laughs> Tapple to ground and then the turnover. The Bulldogs take control of this attack. Cuts right back into the defense. WPI. They've got a good defensive line set that they can go ahead and fold around, but they it's elect to go ahead and send in two people to the breakdown. Petrucci recognizes that nobody's behind. A little bit slow to get back. Mains is not the one that you want to have speed to burn. Thought that there was somebody to her left. Goes ahead and offloads to the right. Red, get out! Red, out! The free shouting for that WPI player to move quickly out of the breakdown. Using a nice little tips play, but a big hit coming in from WPI gets her to ground. Looks like that was on. Continuing now to press on. Who could that be? Yet another try for Yale. Looks like that might have been their number nine cheeky little play coming in from Lauren Delwich, recognizing the very slow fold of the goats. Beautiful individual try. You always saw the scrum has to not take it themselves unless they know definitively that they've seconds. got the green light to go. And Delwich, she finds that the fold is just too slow for her liking. Rounds the corner around WPI and extends the lead. Pete has been very good off of the boot, only missing a conversion to the far left. Revs up, kicks up, flags up. Looks like that might have hit the head of the flag holder. But 40 to 10, Yale, the home team, the Bulldogs are leading over the Goats. Goats had a couple of moments five of five brilliance here in the second half. Not enough can be said about Mond and Griffiths and Durant, who were massive efforts. But we see here the coaching staff for BYU at just talking shop, giving some kudos all around. This is a big win for the season opener, leading 40 to 10. We've got about five minutes left, and though it does not look like WPI will leave with a win, it's still important to continue to fight till the end. They've got about five minutes left, but Yale looks like they got that dog in them. So we'll see if they can go ahead and get one more try in backwards. for their season opener. Ball goes backwards, and Yale is on the hunt for its last try. Offloading in those tiny spaces. This is Pete. She offloads as well. Puts the ball away. This is some really good leg drive ball. And some speed coming in from Yale. They're now at the 40 within their half. Brad, you're offside. Thank you. WPI called for offside. So we see a little bit of stunt in play coming from Yale. Lauren, no. Thank you. You're good. You're good. Trying to tell WPI to back off. We see Griffiths come up and make a big hit. Petrucci calls for the ball, moves it to the left. The number 12 almost loses it, but she gains it right as she gets hit. That's Rosencrantz. And they've lost a meter, so they've got to make some up. They do. Number 21, she's going to take it right in to WPI. The Goats still trying to maintain their defensive effort. Go ahead and use it to the right. Taken down quickly by the number three, Ron. Ron with 
yet another big hit. See the fatigue start to set in for her. Backwards. Ball ends up going backwards at Yale. Find a little bit of real estate on that hinge. Yet again, it's been a big weak point for WPI throughout this whole game. Matrushi, it's not usual for her to go ahead and miss that. Second set of hands, she loops around though, finds the work, mains, heads back inside, finds more space. This looks very well done for the Bulldogs. She trips though, unfortunately. Blue, double right movement. outside of the tri zone. To red. Oh, and that just hurts for Mains. Yeah. She had so much speed going for her. It looks like that might have been a little bit of an ankle tap, but WPI, they go ahead and go, and then they kick away possession. They have an injury. All right. Referee will go ahead and blow Time is off. Up. We see Matrushi. She's trying to move it to the left, tries to find the after work, the m more work after losing that pass. We see Mains take off. Oy. And looks like that might have been a little bit of a turf monster for Mains. Not sure if that's frustration yeah. or if that's injury. Mains uh, scoots off. So we hope that she's all right. No worries. Looks like Yale, we need a replacement. Okay, right, we're gonna resume. We're gonna resume with a scrum to up here. Yeah. Brad, time scrum is back on. Two, blue. Probably about We're gonna restart with a scrum to blue. Yeah, scrum to blue, a little farther back. From it to blue within the 40. This is us. Scrum to come 40 to 10 at Yale, the Bulldogs, the home team leading in this D2 match. Something not right to the WPI hooker. Looks like that was Jenny Young. Calling it back up. Needing a flanker. Crouch. Was WPI. Find. They find one. Set. Neil, stay strong. They drive over and Matrushi gives it to the number 12. Off of it. McClony though. Brings that Yale player straight to ground, trying to get some possession back. Matrushi, such a big playmaker, but she finds herself on the ground. Not being taken to ground is Yale, so they've got time to get rid of the ball. They've got some numbers to burn it. They can move it to the left yet again, but they choose to go for the contest. Yale get that little bit of wind up, but they only get about a meter of space. Moving it now to the left, using those forwards. Big shoulder contact. Toss though to ground by the WPI player. Backwards, play on. Looks like the ball might have almost gotten knocked, but it's considered backwards. Skull with the quick hand. Her wing wasn't expecting the quickness of that. Cuts back in, she gets tackled. Skola tries to get over the ball, but that's Brooke on Yeh trying to work over that space. She's high though. This ball is not coming out, it finally does. It's moved to the left away from the sideline. No, no, Red! She has to roll out first. Looks like Red almost getting caught for a not rolling away penalty, but ball gets moved away to the left-hand side. They've got an overload, though, if they want to go ahead and use it. Matrushi recognizes it, goes ahead and goes for the boot. Nobody is home. See a good chase coming in from Yale. They are able to regain their kick. That's Matrushi. She moves it to the number 12, Rosencrantz. Rosencrantz, the strong center, cuts back no, in, blue. trying to find the try zone. It's unsuccessful. It looks like they still have about five meters left to go. Ball ends up getting knocked on. They were a lot closer than they all thought, and that should be the final try and the final play of the match. 
and of course it would go straight to the home team. Matrushi wants to go ahead and give it left, but recognizes that there's a shooter in the defense. She tips over and yet again fields her own kick so cleanly. Goes ahead and cleans up the mess a little bit that's coming around. Rosencrantz cuts back inside, recognizing that it's slow defense. And then we see here the number okay. 21. She ends up losing the ball, but the try scorer, that looks like it's the number 23. That's the substitute that, unfortunately, I do not have the name for it, but job well done to Yale. Pete will go ahead and set up for the boot. Kick is up, kick looks oh. short, and that will conclude our game. 45 to 10, Yale, the Bulldogs at holding strong and protecting the house. The win for the season opener. Thanks for tuning in with us for the Friday Night Lights. Big kudos to the home team, as well as WPI for their okay. efforts. Thank you. Thanks for tuning in with us. My name is Darian Lovelace. Thanks for yeah. rocking and rolling. We'll see you here next time. And that for that try, that went sideways. Yeah, that was not close.